In this video, I'm going to show you the Arturia Analog Lab Play FreeVST instrument plugin in Reaper. Now, one of the downsides of Reaper is it doesn't come with an extensive amount of VST instrument plugins. But luckily, there's a lot of free ones available. One of my favorites is this one, the Arturia Analog Lab Play VST instrument plugin. So if you do a quick search on the internet, you should wind up on this website. Let me just download it here and reopen Reaper. I would double click to create a new track. We'll go to the effects on that track. And if it's installed correctly, we can go to instruments and we should see it right here. Analog Lab V. Double click it. Now, if you're opening it for the first time, it'll ask you to register it and create an account. And once you do and it's all set up, it should open like this. Now to choose our sounds, we can go right here and we can see all the sounds that are available. There's bass sounds, keys, leads, pads, and so on. And we could obviously go through all these presets in this video, but you can really do that yourself. So instead of doing that, let's record a piece of music using just this plugin. So you can get an idea of what this plugin can do. Let's start off with bass. We'll double click the bass icon and that shows us all the bass sounds it comes with. I set up my track for MIDI input, all channels. Now if I play a MIDI keyboard, I should hear this sound. And I do. We go through it by clicking each sound or using the arrow keys. Let's choose this bass right here, which plays a sequence when we hold down the key. We can still play a part with it like this. So let's try to lay down a part. We can close this. We'll create a loop from bar one to bar five. Make sure looping is turned on. We'll go here to the record mode and change it to record MIDI overdub right here. This way, when we record our part, it won't create takes. It'll loop where we could overdub on each pass. We'll name it. And we can see the part I play down here, the virtual MIDI keyboard, even though I'm using a USB MIDI keyboard. Let's put down this bass part. But before we do that, my playing is pretty sloppy, so let's quantize on the way in. I'll right click over here, track recording settings, input quantize. And we'll turn on quantizing right here. I'll set it to eighth notes. We'll quantize the note offs as well. And then we'll turn on the metronome right here and only run it during recording with a count in of one bar. So now we're ready to record that part. If you want to see the part, if you double click the MIDI item, it opens up like this, and we can see it looks pretty perfect. Again, because you quantize on the way in. So let's put down some drum parts, starting with a kick. But instead of creating a new track, let's just duplicate this one. Right click, duplicate tracks, I'll name it kick. Let's delete this part. Go to the plugin and we'll change the preset. This time we'll go to the drums, double click it. Now you can see all the drum sounds we could choose from. Again, we could choose it from here. We'll use the arrow keys. Let's use this kick but using a very low note. Close it. 
And here's a note we're going to play. Pitching it down. So it sounds more like a kick. We'll change the quantize for this one. To not quantize the note offs. There's no need to do that for drums. Let's put down the kick part. Again, it's going to loop as we're in MIDI overdub mode. Again, we can double click it to open the MIDI editor where we can see these notes. Again, it's perfect because it quantized on the way in. Now let's put down a stick part or a rim sound. Make these tracks smaller, duplicate this one, delete this MIDI and change the preset. We'll go back to our drums again, but this time we're gonna choose the 808 drum kit, which sounds like this. And we could use that stick or rim shot right there. Close this. And let's put down that part. Sounds good. Now let's put down a piano part. The track's a bit smaller. Duplicate this one. Name a piano. We'll switch to an electric piano sound by double clicking. Here's the piano sounds it comes with, or the electric piano sounds it comes with. Let's use this first one. To extend the ending for these notes as I play them a bit short. And let's hear that. Perfect. So now let's put down a string part. Again, we'll duplicate this track, delete this part, change the preset. Go to our strings. Now we can hear the string presets that come with this. Let's try this one. Sounds pretty good. Let's double this with a bigger string sound to make it sound more full. Duplicate this, and we'll keep the part the same, but just change the preset. I'm gonna go to vocal and choose the voices and strings, which sounds like this. Blended with this one, So now we have a part where we could bring in each track one at a time, like this.
sounds pretty good. And like I said, while Reaper doesn't come with a lot of VST instrument plugins, there's a good free one we can get that works great with Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the Arteria Analog Lab Play Free VST Instrument Plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!